This is CES 2025, where tech companies from around the world gather in Las Vegas to wow us with their hot new technology and bring solutions to our biggest problems. And we're here to award the best of the best. These are the official 2025 Best of CES winners awarded by CNET Group, which is a team of sites made up by CNET, ZDNet, Mashable, PCMag, and Lifehacker. We are CTA's official media partner for the Best of CES Awards, and the winners were chosen by our team of experts checking out the tech. The award for Best Artificial Intelligence goes to NVIDIA's Cosmos AI model, a missing link that allows robots and autonomous vehicles to become much more capable. Training robots requires a lot of data, and this lets robots train in a software playground. It takes digital models of physical spaces and transforms them into simulations that act like real-world scenarios. For transportation and mobility, Honda takes the win with its Zero Series SUV and Zero Series sedan electric vehicles. These look like they're straight out of a science fiction movie. It has a battery that can charge in 15 minutes and the vehicle is also powered by a new artificial intelligence chip. These are prototypes, but Honda says the final designs are close to what we see at the show. No pricing details, but the plan is to launch these vehicles in North America in 2026. For laptops, our best of CES winner goes to the ASUS ZenBook A14. And it wins for being the thinnest and lightest co-pilot plus PC. It also packs in a bunch of unexpected features and a 30-hour battery. The X Elite model launches this week for about $1,100. The Snapdragon Plus model is coming in March for about $900. CES always has plenty of televisions, but the one that looks best to our experts is the LG G5 OLED. The company says it's 40% brighter and it has better contrast and bright lighting compared to its predecessor, which was one of the best TVs last year. For smart home tech, we are giving a hand to the robot that gives you a hand, Roborock's Saros Z70. This robot vac and mop hybrid has a folding arm and claw to pick up stray socks and other small items in the way. The camera system is able to identify various objects, and in demos, we saw it fetch balled up socks and place them in designated areas. No price shared, but it is scheduled to arrive later this year. In the sustainability category, the award goes to Flint's Paper Batteries. This startup company from Singapore developed a scalable solution to traditional lithium ion batteries. The key component here is cellulose, but it is flexible. It can be as small as a coin battery. And when these batteries are no longer needed, it can decompose in six weeks. The company recently secured $2 million in seed funding to run a pilot project this year. For the gaming category, the award goes to the Lenovo Legion Go S. It stands apart from other gaming handhelds for its operating system. There will also be a version with Windows 11, but there's a version as well with Valve Steam OS. That makes it the only portable gaming system that officially runs Steam that isn't from Valve. That's big news if you want a Steam Deck alternative. The Go S will be the cheapest Legion Go device when it ships in May, starting at $600. For best wellness and fitness tech, the award goes to the Oslo Sleep Buds. The design makes sure they stay put and that you don't feel them when you are sleeping on your side. But for $300, it also has several features. It blocks out outside noise so you don't hear someone snoring next to you. It also has biometric sensors that track sleep, an in-ear alarm, a 10-hour battery, and it plays audio. In the mobile category, the award goes to HMD's Off-Grid Accessory. It's a $200 dongle that lets any Android or iPhone send text messages and contact emergency services by connecting to a network of satellites when there's no cell signal. Although some newer phones today do offer satellite connectivity, this gives the power to older phones as well, which could be a life-saving feature in some cases. The catch is that it requires a subscription to HMD service, which starts at $80 a year. For the category of privacy and security, the award goes to the Ultralock Bolt Mission UWB plus NFC. It offers several innovations that make it the most impressive and secure smart lock that we've seen to date. It also can sense your location within inches, and it has the awareness to know which side of the door you're on. There's hands-free unlocking, but also it has backups, like using NFC for a tap to unlock entry, and a keypad, and a good old traditional key slot as well. Priced at about $400, it supports a number of smart home systems, and it has a year of battery life. 
It wouldn't be CES without some oddball gadgets. So the award for best of the weird or most unexpected goes to Kieran's electric salt spoon. This rather large spoon sends an electric current to your tongue to make your food taste saltier. The idea is to get food to taste better without having to add unnecessary salt to your diet. When our team tried it, folks said they could detect a slight difference, but results may vary. It's available for sale now in Japan for 19,800 yen, which is about $125. So what's the best overall winner of CES? The choice for the team was clear. NVIDIA Cosmos takes the top award. It demonstrates the biggest and boldest ambition for how tech could impact people and communities in the years immediately ahead. The biggest gap keeping robots and automation from becoming more useful is training data. And Cosmos uses generative AI to fill that gap. Congratulations to all the winners. There have been so many fascinating products, so I hope you can check out all of our coverage on our sites, CNET, ZDNet, PCMag, Mashable, and Lifehacker. Thanks for watching.